it never scared me away from it. Why? Never frightened how, me. How is that? Because to, to, to the untrained, aka yeah. me, look, to be honest with you, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a non partial conduit to a lot of the people that yeah. are watching. Uh, they, they, they have um, reasonably uh, well balanced lives and, and probably wouldn't think for a second to go to those extremes that maybe you did. It was, uh, Joe, well, I couldn't even tell you. Killer, killer, oh, 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 KillerKellerOfficial.com You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Yes, people, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London, as central as you need to be, deserve to be, you deserve this in your life, we're doing it, we're doing it for you guys, we are you, we're not doing this for our health, sharing is caring, big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk, hold tight to everyone that's got the television app, free download, uh, for all your street culture, sports and needs, yeah, inside we had a place, we had the man inside, trust me when I tell you, he's been a very busy boy. And continues to be uh, what I would say a figurehead in the graffiti scene in the UK. Um, big shout out, the mighty tick inside the place. Okay, so all right? Good. <laughs> I'm all right. And you know what? I'm fucking so excited. Because <laughs> we come from the same year, we're going to be talking about all sorts of oh, come on. bits and bobs today. <laughs> Not even just graffiti, music as well, yeah. isn't it? Come on, everything. That's everything. what I'm saying. Like, now, before we, you know, we jumped in on this, we, we, did, a, we did a kind of reverse engineered our, our paths and how we first connected and yeah, you're like man. yeah I saw you playing yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, come Yo. on come on yeah of course man that was back what back 2002 talk to me what? 2002 yeah man it was oh mate that was, that was one of the best days of my life I'm not even just saying it because you obviously you were involved in it mate come on son Big up. but yeah it was just like the first time I ever went carnival mm. Well, I was with two of my good friends from back then that we were just on a madness with all the time I was um, got a phone call from my boy Tease Big Up Tease uh, he's old tight tees, yes. He was like, Yeah, mate, let's go fucking heat fever. That heaver was the original plan that night to go back in uh, Bank Holiday weekend 2002. Whoa, 2002? Two, yeah, this was all yeah. going bad too. Like, this yeah. was like the no go zone of carnival then. Like, yeah, this was yeah, like the friendly, yeah. happy carnival <laughs> yeah, that we yeah. talk about these days. Yeah, this yeah. was like, we was only like 16 at the time as well, do you know what I mean? So it was like 15, 16, we was young pups. And I just remember he was like, Yeah, we'll go heaver. We got, but we got to go to carnival to get the tickets. <laughs> No, sorry, we went to Black Market Records first. Oh, yeah, okay. Come on, Black Market Records. now you're really getting the, the, you're getting the real, on. real culture. That was where you yeah. had to go. Big to, up, Nicky. You know, oh, come on, Black Market and Ray Key from all them down Ray, there, man. Yeah. But you had to get a, you always had to go down there to get your tape packs or any, any like tickets you wanted for any of the rays and that. So, um, yeah, we've headed down there, but it was sold out. So it's like the only other place you can get them from today is Carnival. So this was on the Sunday. So we was like, all right. Let's go down carnival and I'll be straight up with you. I was a bit like, I didn't really want to go down there if I'm honest with you, because I've just been smoking the fucking the hydro as well. So I was just like, oh, I was like, last place I want to go to something well, yeah, like <laughs> Nah, so we was like, yeah, we'll head down there. So me, uh, teasing my mate, we was like, let's head down there. So we um made our way down, went to the rampage stage, and when I say rampage, it was literally a madness. There was people flying elbows everywhere. It was I don't think I've crazy. ever done a rampage. Oh, it was insane, man. It was mental. But really? um, yeah. we made our way to the front and we asked for the tickets and they were like, nah, he was sold out. He was sold out. He goes, but fucking he goes, whoever we were we talking to is one of the MCs. I don't know if it I'll have to ask who it was now, but whoever it was, he was like, Don't worry about that, Rave, mate. You want to come down to Brixton Academy tonight? I was like, well, what's going on there? And he goes, Clash of the Titans. Because you've got to remember, we never had the internet back then. So all it was was either posters on a wall mm. or hearsay or word of mouth, do you know what I mean? Which so, is the best in the world oh, ever. Oh, it was the best era, man, for all yeah. that sort of stuff. So he was just like, yeah, head down, um, come down to Brixton Academy, like Clash of the Titans. We were like, who's playing? And they just said Goldie was playing. And as soon as I heard Goldie, I was like, <laughs> what? Like, I'd seen, do you know what I mean? I was a drum and bass fan from a kid, like, and it was on Jungle, and it was just like, 
never seen him live because at this time he was obviously big into other things, mm. acting and mm-hmm. everything else. So it was like, wow. Well, he was just got... like this. He was just like this untouchable, like superstar. Yeah, it was man. James Bond. Like, he's in James Bond for fuck's sake, yeah. and he standards everything. So it's like, do you know what? All right, cool. We got we bought our tickets and mate, we, went, we just hung around Carnival then for the rest of the evening and then. Went down to the yeah Clash of Titans and he, yourself was playing. You yeah, played there. Yeah. You split about three o'clock and then <laughs> you like split up the drum and bass in the middle of the night yeah, if I remember correctly, isn't it? And it was a six set. It was just a great night and it was one of the best. Honestly, one of the top three raids. I've been to thousands of raids, mate. That's not even an exaggeration. Like including the squat parties and around Europe and mm-hmm. it being my top three raids of all time. It was just a great night. I like, remember. It, I remember it vividly as because. I mean, it's youthful wisdom, isn't it, to be staying out as long as you do, and then I will go to a rave afterwards. I think I went through the same journeys as you because of Carnival, and all I remember is like being there, thinking because you come out of the, you come out of a bit of a fire into a bit of more of a frying pan when it comes to like raves after parties in Carnival because a lot of people just disband and go to, yeah, yeah, so you never yeah. know what it's going to be like. And I remember it being maybe three quarters full. Uh, put you in, bear in mind, it's Bricks and Academy, right? Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it was, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, there's it a lot of place to, like, to move and mooch it about was, and it? just chill out and that. Yeah, yeah. Real moving crowd. All of a sudden there'd be a load of people and then it would back yeah. off. And then it was, so I remember that really well and, and, and I just remember doing the beatbox and I, I, I got the sense that everyone had just like, you know, whoop, whoop, all turning their heads yeah, around, yeah. what the fuck is this? Because, <laughs> you know, drum and bass, as much as I'm a huge advocate and fan and, and, and I've come up through it, it was still reasonably new to have the music completely stop oh, and wow, somebody do that. But it, it was mean. nice because, like, I don't know, I can't speak for all 6,000 people in there, but <laughs> I, I'd taken a few bennies in there. So I was just like, right, it's three o'clock in the morning, I could do is sit my ass down for a couple of minutes. Yeah, you know yeah, I, mean? yeah. I remember just lying back. I was mad at nowhere by what he was playing. I remember looking up at the ceiling, I was like, what's happening? Someone's hitting me on the top of the head. And I just laid my my head down on some girl's lap, and she's with her boyfriend, and they were like, "What are you doing, bro?" Like, I was like, "What?" I was like, and my mates were cracking up, <laughs> and so they're just telling me, they're like, "Get the fuck, get the fuck up, what are you doing?" I was like, "Oh shit!" So, Trials yeah. and tribulations yeah. of ravers. Yeah. Man. I mean, you know, it, it, it's a funny time, isn't it? We were talking as well just before before recording. Understand yeah. that that graffiti had a resurgence across lockdown, mostly because people found themselves again, where as prior to BC, before COVID, there was this, you know, it was just business as usual. We're going out raving. There's a whole decade of people, well, a whole generation of people, excuse me, that have just not seen raves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what right. else are they going to do? You know, this is, it's a kind of, it's almost like reset people's creative intentions, isn't it? Of course, it? man, of course. I mean, listen, I've missed more than anything. I've missed going to raves, like, probably yeah. like going and having like a, whether it's during the day or is at night time, it's just knowing that you can go and book like, looking forward to something like I work hard mm. all week to look forward to something at the end of the week or in, mm. or the end of the month mm. knowing that I'm going to go and see like some six hours of like bad boy DJs playing like mm. do you know what I mean but it's, it's just been gone on the quiet recently man it's, it's, it's sad and I think it's taken a lot of people have gone have gone cold turkey for me I tell mm. you just just going and listening to their favourite music and a lot of music hasn't really been made as well I think because like you don't hear a lot of I don't know, it's just gone very, very mundane recently, but I'm hoping that it's coming back, chatting to you again. You're saying yeah. there's a lot of things coming up, so yeah. Yeah, it's gonna get... but like a, you're, like, you're right, though, the portals in which we consume stuff are ever-changing. It does feel like sometimes like those more organic ways of, what the fuck's this tune? I've got Shazam this. It's not there anymore. Nah, it's man, not it's there. Not, it's not, it's quiet, it's nothing. I mean, I don't even listen to radio. I'm listening to sets from like, <laughs> like Brocky and Det sets from like, I swear to God, I know where I've like, you've seen my, you've seen my videos yeah, anyway, yeah. but I listen to the same Det and, De, De, yeah, yeah, yeah. De and Brocky set from like 2016 when they're on Pyro Radio. Every time I'm playing, it's just like a little boost, half an hour, I'm like, because I love it and it's because there's nothing new. Yeah. At the moment, to listen to, do you know what I mean? Like, or, or in season, you know, as as trends and seasons happen, there is this cycle which's going on right now where that actually has a air of relevance. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I was speaking to this guy the other day. I can't remember which one it was. It's one of the three hundred. Go check them out. <laughs> yeah. But I was speaking, and uh, we were talking about how things have cycles, and a lot of it is dependent on social uh, uh, climates and the fact that. Perhaps us going back, it, it's, be, it's more than just nostalgia. It's a comfort because we are it's such an uncertain time in the world. Yeah, yeah. Can one, big up Can one, that was who it was. That's and you know, you, that yeah, was, man. Yeah, I, bro, that. I watched yeah. that last night, it was good, man. Yeah, I enjoyed that. It's a deep one, isn't it? Yeah, proper. Yeah. yeah, real, real. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it when 
episodes go deeper than just mm. the, the graph side of things. Of course, well, back, right, everything, yeah. graffiti's got a background. Everyone's got their own story behind why they yeah. do it. Do you know what I mean? It's not just about yeah. the graph. Yeah. No one says it's to live that graph life. No, they're living life. Yeah, living life. And life takes them on down the graph right? When those people say, oh, I get it, what they're saying, yeah. but I never lived the graph life. I lived life and graph come into it and, and raving come into it, music come into it. It's an all encompassing yeah, thing, isn't love, it? Love, pain, everything. Like, like, do you know what I mean? That so, was the era. That was mm. the, you know, like you were saying, Goldie was on stage. He was a superstar doing things that were nothing to do with graph or music. He was just, but it was all in one, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That nostalgia, that. Back then, thing it feels a lot more secure and 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 uh, entertaining than maybe the idea of like, well, what's the government doing? Not getting into any of that. But what's, <laughs> yeah, but what's the world coming to? Shit, yeah. What's what's the what's the world coming to? Technology's taking us in all these different crazy places, and yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah. it's just nice to have a can in the hand or a mic in the hand. Or oh, just mate. Going back to normal. I was talking to someone about this the other day. I I miss the days of someone knocking on my door. Mm. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. like I, 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 I said so. Not recently. knocking on to see you want to come out. Yeah, yeah like, do you know what I mean? Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that is all, do you know what I mean? But do you know, like, just knocking on your door saying, what are you coming out? We're going to do this. Or someone, I said it the other day, like, I was going to do a yard with someone. It was like, they were ringing me from my phone box on the other side of London to ring my house to say you're coming out. And then I was having to run to go and raise paint see, to go and meet them. There's no phone. We had, I didn't even have a mobile. I didn't even have a mobile phone. Back in the day. See, like, we're talking in I'm retrospect saying, like, now, right? So we don't get involved in this. So I don't do any of this <laughs> stuff that we're talking about at home. Just for us. Um, uh, yeah. And that's gone. It's gone, mate. And, it's I, gone. I, I, and I, I miss it because like, sometimes like, I'm guilty of it. I'll sit on my phone just sitting on Instagram or sitting on whatever I'm doing and just being like losing time like you're losing time wasting time but oh, just sitting God. on your blower like doing like, there's, and then and then you're getting into like, i see people i'm watching people like throw their souls away by getting into arguments or whatever and hating and it's just like yeah. yo the good old days were just being out there mm. like rolling around the city city rollers ctr big up old you know tight I mean? ctr yeah. we're just like it's, that's what we was that's what, that that era like, like i'm talking about the era when i first started writing and it was like 98 to 2002 and it was Oh man, them years like in North West London felt like its own city. It mm. was just everyone knew everyone, but again, we had no social media platforms. We had no mobiles. We didn't have none of that shit. People went to different schools, but we still some, somehow all knew each other. North West mad. London has, I mean, listen, this is a revelation for me because, you know, bear in mind, I'm learning like everyone else is with every time, naively stepping into these worlds. And I have to ask the question North West London bred some. Pretty prolific. Oh, what, mate. Right? I'm oh, trying to wow. think that now. Oh, I'm thinking wow. back to the, all yeah. the other podcasts. Oh, the, eight, the 80s. Yeah, that guy, that guy, that guy. Like, you can create a tapestry. Northwest really did. Oh, a, wow. A flag, man. Right? Well, from TU, from the beginning yeah. days. Like, that was only out the road for me. Like, like yeah. all them. That, that was before my time. But obviously, I got to know the history and I know a lot yeah. of the members from it from then and from now who's repping it. And it just went on. And then you also had like, you had like DDS came through or TBF yeah. and PBS. That's right. Uh, HS, All yeah. City, oh, oh, geez, CTR, yeah, yeah. One T, SFL, SFL, all yeah. these crews came from Northwest. Like, Isn't yeah, that they're, insane? The, the beginning foundations came from these areas. Yeah. I mean, LGL, WTC, there was just so many. Wow, the list not is ruling out like, south, of course. Yeah, you know yeah. the awful dodgy eras, and of course, like the West London. Of course, was, oh, know. they all had. You know, they yeah. all had their thing going on. But like yeah. I said back then. Unless you was an all city wild, I never was. It wasn't nothing like that. I was just going up in our ends. Like our, our scene was healthy where we were, and it was just everyone rubbing off of each other. But back then, like I said, we were youngsters. We weren't always. Um, we didn't have the social media platforms the way where people have now. It was just mm -hmm. what was going on around us. Do you know what I mean? And it was like wow. It was like just from like my age group. You also like see when I grew up. I remember. I think my brother must have had a house party or something when my parents were away. He's always going to Ireland, and then. I remember waking up one day and there was like Misto and turn reaches in my in my in my brother's room. Like and I shared a room with my brother and I was like, what the fuck? I was like, wow. I didn't know what this was. I was a kid, I was a kid and I was like, turn W A L. Big up turn, he's become a good yeah. friend of mine like, later on in life. And it was like, and Misto. There's a name that I've you know I mean? missed. Oh, he's a Dan, man. A he's a Dan. Big turn, up turn, man. man. Yeah. And like, and then Misto, because I Misto. I, I, do you know what it was with Misto was that Legendary. my mate, I've got a creative mind. So when I was like seeing his reaches, Misto and the way he spelled yeah. like, the way he spelled it and done his reaches, I started yeah. thinking about because I used to always draw um Marvel co comic heroes in school and that. So uh, Mysterio. Is that how you get your cartoon characters? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's why I love them because you know, but you know, like Mysterio, like, and mm. I, was, I was not that I was thinking about a graffer with a fishbowl in his head, but I was just like thinking like Mysterio, Misto, and I just started, and it was just it gripped me as soon as I saw them. I was like, yeah. wow, what is this yeah. thing that's going on? Like, so and I started fucking around in school and yeah. and you know, like as you do, and then you, you start going out there, you start meeting people and on the buses or in the train stations or in parks and. Yeah. 
different areas. Like, like again, like I said, Northwest was every area had a set of writers, and it was just all all the bigger boys like Zonk, Bosch, and Ouch. Turn mm. like I said, Snap was another one that was big around them days when I was growing mm. up, right, right around my big shout out all them boys, yeah, all, all of them. Yeah. Like there was, but then not just them. I know people say to me, "Oh, who did you look up to when you was growing up?" Like graph wise and that. To be honest with you, the people I looked up to, the people around me. So then, like, like you had like you had like the Neckers, you had Atom, Alma, <sighs> Issue, Plea, Surf, Seal. All these people, like Joko down the road, like yeah. all these people local to me, T's got to, like... Yeah. Then on the other side of Northwest, you had, like, so who, again, Bong, Anchor, Q's. Q's in 99 was destroying it, personally, for me. Like, I was seeing man, them everywhere. Man, I want to see some flicks from you, that era, man. Do you know what I mean? Like, that was, that was my era. I don't hear about enough about this. I'm thinking that, yeah. that era, for me, was golden. Like, I was like, for the our f- golden era. Them like. magazines, Hold No Hostage. Remember Hold No Hostage? Yeah, and, man, of course, yeah. Bomb Alert. Bomb Alert, Bomb Alert. Oh, I know Giza, right? yeah. Bomb Alert. Come oh, me and T's are talking about this yeah. the other day. Like, yeah, of course, man. But you'd like, wait for them things to see the flicks from those yeah. eras and those artists, oh. man. Or Digital Enigma, there was an internet site called Digital, Digital Enigma. And we, we, no one had internet back then, so we'd be in school trying to get on it, and then the <laughs> teachers would be going mad, saying, what are you looking at? We're trying to look at... But it was so slow to upload a picture that by the time they come over and they're watching you, you're going bright red in the face, and this big, <laughs> like, Zonk or Cosa piece comes up on your screen. They're like, yeah, what you are you looking at graph for? Yeah, like, yeah, like, hold yeah, on, you, yeah. you think that's bad. You imagine if there was, like, a full sky. Yeah, yeah, like, something else, yeah. Yeah, yeah, something a little bit more questionable. <laughs> but that's probably what they're thinking <laughs> yeah. they want to see, like. You're like, you're relieved. Like, yeah, 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 they're like, you're like a 14-year-old child. Why are you looking at graphs yeah. and you'd be looking at porn or yeah, something yeah, like that? Yeah, totally. You're not a child. Like, oh, God. <laughs> that's what it was. And it was just like, like I said, we had everything around us and you had, like, again, then, because I was always, because I went to, like, I went to school on the other side. I went to Harrow, school in Harrow, and then I was, like, always travelling through Neasden and Wilsden on buses and I started seeing this, that scan, scan LGL mm. was like the one that really mm. got my attention mm. to go mm. another level with graphics. Mm. because it was like, his throw ups and his hand style was just, for me it was mad, him and Faze and they were just battering it everywhere and it was just that era, 99, for, I don't know, for some reason, just forever when graph, like, and for me, would always stand out because mm. it was just like, wow, especially in Northwest, it was just mm. mental. Like, mm. All them riders named, I've probably forgotten a few, but well, they know who they were and they were just, and everyone, like I said, it was all, it was mad because all them writers, I'm talking about 30, 40 different writers, but then we'd all be going to the same parties, like mm. squat parties, because squats were always, even though they happened all over North, all over London, sorry, I should say, Northwest in Park Royal mm. and Staples mm. Corner, all up the A406, they were happening every weekend, yeah, and in yeah. Halsden by the canal, yeah. it was like, and everyone was going to them, so everyone oh, knew man. each other, like, it yeah. was crazy, it was a crazy, crazy time, like. What do you think it is, though, with Northwest? It, it was sitting in the water or something? Yeah, but you know, it, it was obviously there's there's a background to gang culture and that. I think like, there's a lot of gang rivalries now, and I think it just spread out because it was it was mad, it was a mad time. It was a mad time, and even if you weren't from them areas where they were happening, it was spreading out because it was a lot of dan- it was a dangerous time. It was a dangerous time. A lot of I saw a lot of bad things happen. A lot of bad things did happen, and it was just. It sort of it filtered through to whatever you were doing, whether it was graph or going to raves or like making music. Really? Or, yeah, it was. It, everyone had. I wouldn't say a chip on their shoulder, but everyone had their back up. Everyone was like on a defense. I think personally, mm. and I think I think anyone that or the names I was just mentioned there earlier that like, grew up in that era would say the same thing. It was just like, but that could be the case now, no? It could be the case now, but then now, maybe not in graph. Now, yeah, but then, yeah, but now you know who people are. Again, yeah. like I said, social media's made it like that. You know who people are. You know yeah. like where you're going and what you're walking into and this. But then you didn't know anything. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. You could leave your front door and you don't know what's happening for the next twenty four yeah. hours. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah, like you like. Like some of the, like it was just mad. It was a, it was a crazy time. Like I said, like it, not, I didn't go to school. I went to school with uh, Cage, who TKS big up Cage. Like it's the first writer ever wrote yeah, yeah, I was in like we were in like year seven or year eight, and he was oh, like, tight. Yeah, that's he's the one. Like my earliest memory of this is mad. The earliest memory of Graph would be earlier than that, but he was the first person that got me like bombing on buses and that, and um, it was just. You go, you'd be going, you'd be on a bus, and the next thing you see another school would get on, and you'd be ch- chatting to them, and you meet other writers, and you'd be like, oh yeah, what's going on? And it was just that was the era then. Do you know what mm. I mean? But then automatically, when you're speaking to someone, you, they could come, you go and meet them that night, who you met on the bus that day, and then it could go off. Mm. You might be friendly with them during the day, but then you don't know what you're walking into because you don't know who they hang around with or who. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Whereas I've had this conversation you know, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah now yeah. you know who people are and who they hang around with. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, I do. Like, I've had that conversation before because you know you can't be. Just walking into any old thing if you don't know the temperament. No. Nah. Either that can be paint or give me your paint. That's what it was. Really? It, it literally was like that. It wasn't, it was, un- it was unsavory a lot of the time. So why do it then? I don't know. I got drawn into it. I, 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 
that things happen to me, things happen in life, things happen. I've seen bad things happen, but yeah. it never scared me away from it. Why? Never frightened how, me. How away is from that? Because to, to, to the untrained, aka yeah. me, look, to be honest with you, yeah, you know I mean, I'm just, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a non partial conduit to a lot of the people that yeah. are watching. Uh, they, they, they have um, reasonably uh, well balanced lives and, and probably wouldn't think for a second to go to those extremes that maybe you did. It was, uh, Joe, well, I can't even tell you, man. Like, like uh, it, some of the situations, like I said, when I, I mentioned squat parties earlier. When I was going to squats, we'd go down on a Friday sometimes, not leave till Monday morning or Sunday, literally be in yeah, there. Yeah, you guys love your two squat or three. Oh, <laughs> mate, they were crazy. Big up all the squatters. Your whole tight, all the yeah. squat parties. I love yeah, them, man. Yeah. House parties and yeah. squat parties are the ones. Them man. days were, mate. Yeah. Like I said, like Abbey Road, like, and um, yeah. Park Royal, man. I remember, like, we, I was talking to Adam about this the other day. We were just like, one one weekend we went there literally on a Friday, left in the, on the on the Friday morning to go, but like so we didn't get like, that badly intoxicated, whatever. And then Saturday morning <laughs> got changed. I went back there, and then because it was so in the middle of nowhere, even though it's like northwest London, it was like the middle of nowhere. It's hard to get to and from where this like party was, and we just stayed there. You just wouldn't leave. You just didn't want to leave, and you'd be there for like two or three days. Literally, that's not an exaggeration, mate. You'd go and find a room to sleep in it for a few hours, come back out. You might not have your phone and shit in your pocket, but you'd still be having a Fuck. good time. <laughs> yeah, it was rag over, bro. It was... Oh, these times were mad, man. Like, it's... And again, like you said, why did we go to them? I don't know. It's... I couldn't wait till the next one after that. Really? Yeah, because we were young. We was... When I was saying we were going to squats, was... this was before the rave, like, going to the rave yeah, culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this getting... was, like, the thing that was yeah, before that. Yeah, you could, you were kids. You could, you could wear, like, fucking be in tracksuit bottoms and a hoodie and go... Yeah. Meet up with all your mates, go on a paint up, and then be like, "Oh, we're going to Stratford, or we're going wherever in London." Freedom. It was freedom without knowing that you're going to get security, like asked for ID or whatever. You couldn't mm. even go to a pub back then. I'm talking. We was like 14, 15. When we was first going to squats. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you go, you go down there, know that you're going to be all right. We say you know you're going to be all right, but you know you're going to get in there, and then, yeah, it was just being around, oh, and then man. obviously you're seeing all these other writers that are older than you, and you're just idolizing them because it was graph, and it, like you did look up to. Not as men, because a lot of them, like, yeah, they're just people who they are, but it's just the writer. You see someone's tagging, you're like, oh, that's it, so and so. And you're mm. like, oh, and you want to be in their company, you want to be around them. Bro, you I literally mean? just threw my mind back into 1998, 99, and that f sense of, and there's young people watching this now that are doing exactly this. So, you know, <laughs> you know, don't let. Uh, <laughs> don't. Oh, they're better now, they're all right now. Jesus, what parties are like, but they're walking apart compared to what they used to be. I get so nostalgic sometimes on those. That, you just sent me there and I was like, oh, yeah, man. Like, John Bass was peak. Like, oh, mate. All them chrome burners that were going off on the, tr on the track size as I was coming into Victoria. You know yeah, what I mean? Of course. Yeah, there were certain, certain pieces that I'd see and I'd be like, yeah, I'm in London now. And it'd be like a, a fucking white. Chrome fucking pies. Oh, pies. Well, do you know, imagine just, I was just thinking of pies when you said coming into Victoria. That's what I was just thinking yeah. of pies. I swear <laughs> down. I was just because 99, him and Lust just went on a rampage. Like, oh. I remember that. Again, that was another, yeah, pies was one of the ones. 99, yeah. bang, all yeah. city smashed it. Like, yeah, it just yeah. everywhere FDC you went. were just like yeah. all up in the south there. Smashed it, smashed it. Everyone. Known. Known and as well, it, yeah. yeah. And that, uh, J1, J1 was it? J1, yeah. I remember him from the Graffitism magazines. Yeah, now, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And Known was doing some mad reaches as well, like, yeah. up, and he didn't mind his face being shown. He was just, like, up everywhere, that geezer, yeah. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. He had some mad, uh, yeah, Memo. Memo, another one, Old yeah, time yeah. Memo, yeah. No, it was a good deal. It was good, but like, for the raves, like, we because when we started eventually going raving, it, it was, again, it was like, it's like when people, so I, I started going to the football a lot after, after these times we're talking about, but going back to it, I could, I could actually compare it to like a football firm because I was talking to uh, speak up still again, but I was chatting to him on the phone the other day and we were talking about when we went to um, the first SAS telepathy, Whoa. Skipper Shabbat at the Lighthouse yeah, yeah, yeah. in Cannon wow. Town. Do you remember that place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People talk about Stratford Rex and the mass in Brixton. Nah, nah. No, they sleep on the yeah. Cannon that Tower place Rex. was back then. That was a no go zone. Like, yeah, yeah, you're it was going just to, oh, desolate. Oh me, and, and you go into these raves and they yeah. were like, oh man, I remember that rave and it was luckily there, yeah. there was like a load of people from. Edra, come down to Burnt Oak, come down to Collendale, then we made our way up to so more and more people. It's like getting like you know, like the oh, Warriors. Fun. Like the Warriors, yeah, 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 yeah. on the train. Yeah, yeah. Then we got to like Stables Corner, walked up through the Oxen Gate up to Neasden, then we all went to Willsden, we all met at Dollar Hill Station. And I'm not joking to you, the platform was packed just with us lot. There was loads of us, and it had to be because the where we were going from, where we were going from, we we're going across to East London. Mm -hmm. But there was loads of riots. I'm talking like <laughs> there must have been about 40, 50 of us. There was fucking loads of us. And I was only young, so like some of them, some of them, we're talking about people from 13 all the way up to like, 
the mid twenties. So there we're was talking loads of us. So they're a bit of an age now. This was yeah. sort of the time. Oh, this is amazing. And, and we we went down there and we had to because when we got there, it was just going off. It was like a war zone. Was people were getting robbed, fucking Mad. beaten up, and everything. It was men. It was, it was like a walkway down for the lighthouse. It was on like a, the river, wasn't it? And it was on mm. like a fun fair and all mm. that. And I think I think you see people swimming across the water trying to get into the ray for free. It was just what? these rays were. Rays back then were just different kettle of fish. You know, you go to a drum and bass rave now, everyone's hugging each other like, it weren't like that back then. No, 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 Jesus no. There's Christ. only one person that really holds the whole story of those since Skibbity. Oh, man. You imagine how many stories he's got. Yeah, oh, man. Like that. Yeah, and he's a good guy as well. Yeah, he's chopped so... up with him a few times. Good man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's one of the real ones, isn't he? Oh, man, proper. And, he, and he's, he's good hearted. Like, he chats to him. He's not off his own ass. He's a good no. guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah and he's yeah. a legend as well. He's, I mean? a, yeah. he's the reason why the majority of people fucking MC. Yeah, exactly. Really? Yeah, of course, man. Two time freestyle. Yeah. Oh! Debt, man, as well. That's my hero, man. Oh, and B and, uh, yeah, but it's true, isn't it? Because it, it felt like, and I've said this before, but I do feel it, like, when it comes to graph in, in the UK, d- drum and bass just had such a handle. Like, Doc Scott, Goldie, all the metalheads, like, they were really, like, heavily driven yeah. by. Enforcers as well, they were all heavily driven by the the, 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 the aesthetics, the landscape, what's going on in the inner cities. And, and graph, although it was hip-hop, it just... It just lent so well to that sound and yeah, that yeah. feel, didn't it? Well, I think Joe, you just said there about hip hop. Like, I've, I've always felt personally, I might be wrong. People say I'm wrong, but I always felt like hip hop and graffiti obviously came from New York and the Bronx, and that's what they're kind of hand in hand. I think it more hand in hand was with jungle drama, bass, and graffiti. When from it landed I, here, for from sure. What I saw, especially from where I grew up around Northwest, it was. Everyone I knew that was drum, bass. Was drum and bass yeah, heads. Yeah. Like everyone was a jungle yeah. head. Like everyone. Yeah. Like, all them names I've named earlier, we was all going raised. No one was going like no like house. Mm. That's just what people started doing. Someone was going pull birds, but like drum and bass was yeah. like where you going to bump heads yeah. and just be like this is us. And then at, like I said, especially at squat parties, kind of, it wasn't even just at squat parties. It would just be at actual raves. Like people would catch bring sneaking pens in and graphing up mm-hmm. everywhere. Like so they. Do you like, think that's there. because? Do you think that's why? The, it's a good question. Maybe you can answer because you were actually in the mix back then. Do you think that's why graph took its own course? Because there was this kind of like, well, that's the best way to describe it, like diamond edged style dubs that were coming out. And I know Zombie played a huge part in, like, as did Fume and yeah, on DDS, yeah, yeah, to create that look, that real like rigid. London style. Yeah. It is London style. Do you yeah. think that, do you think that's what, the, the ownership of that and the fact that drum and bass was the soundtrack to, I'm not saying music and that correlates completely, but it was. You had to. You couldn't have a hip hop equivalent in the UK because yeah, it yeah. just wasn't. It, it wasn't sound. ours, and it weren't, it weren't ours. It weren't our thing. Yeah. See, with the names you just named there now. Before in the nineties, I couldn't speak for them because they might say hip hop was the thing for them, or we're uh, yeah. uh, hand in hand for with sure. like drug graffiti. But for us, in like the late nineties and the early two thousand, drum and bass was our thing. Mm. Like, it was like our thing, London. Mm. Like we're from London. So is this music. Mm. Hip hop's not from like all these other music genres and sounds, and none of them come from here. Like they're mm. they're still sick. I like like you know what I'm like about mm. hip hop. Like, come on, man. That's yeah, like yeah, my yeah. Bible. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, and for not one second we suggesting <laughs> that hip hop bears no relevance yeah. in graffiti. No way. That, no that's way. dumb. Yeah, yeah. But what what we're in saying this is era, yeah, yeah, for us coming through, it was like because it's then, accelerated culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Accelerated culture. Yeah. Like your brain's going like that. Yeah. My, my, I got to speak for myself <laughs> then, saying my brain was like that, and all I wanted to do was have a pen or a tin in my hand yeah. and be listening to drum and bass. We'd be waiting to go on missions, like, I'll be with Issue, Big Up Issue, like, one of my, like, Cody's was always out doing yards and that. Tight, We'd be waiting to get into a yard. We'd have our phones out just when they started playing music and just be listening to drum and bass, waiting yeah. to go on the tracks. I remember sitting outside the yard with him. We were just sitting in the car park. We were just listening, like, fucking, whatever we were listening to. But it was drum and bass, it was a drum and bass set, waiting to go and do a train, do you know what I mean? That, wow. that was what I would listen to because it get me in the mood to be like, right, I'm G- on this. Like, if I see whatever, whoever's in there, whatever's in mm. there, I don't care, like, we're going in there. But like hip-hop, I mean? like John Bass, to a lot of people, like Big Up Doc Scott, who, who, oh, who legend he alluded well, yeah. to this as well, that 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 it's just a, it's, it's a, a relative to hip-hop. It's, a, it's, it's all black culture. It's all m- moving, progressive culture. Yeah, yeah. That, it's, just, it's more than just a sound, isn't it? It's, oh, it's all of it. It's everything. It's everything. It's everything to me anyway, man. I love it. I like, I, mm. I wake up in the morning, I put on, like, start listening to Liquid in the morning. By the evening, I'm listening to, like, a Denton Brocket set. Do you know what I mean? Throughout the day, <laughs> I'm progressing it. Yeah, I like, I... Like, like oh, I've gone over all over the world, list, like, just just to go to a giant bass rave. There's something happening in... Okay, I used to go Innovation in the Dam or when I was in, like, Australia, I'd go wherever, like, there was a rave on in Melbourne and it was, like, 40 now. I'd jump on a fucking coach and just get a coach down there because I didn't have no way of flying. Yeah, that's dedication. 
It was, was, man. That's proper jungle's head yeah. business. Because I was, I was illegal over there, so I couldn't travel on the plane. So I had to literally, I was like, I've got, I've got a day and a half to get there. I'll spend like most of my day getting down there. So you spent a portion of your life there? Yeah, three years. Three years. Three there. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it like over there? It's sick, man. It's good, man. The to graphs, live. yeah, yeah. No, it's no what. It's amazing, amazing place. Like the graph scene's massive, but I wasn't graphing when I was over there. Like, but I, I lo I'd lost my love. Not I lost my love for graph, but I lost my love for a lot of things in life because of things that certain things that happened in my own life that took me away from everything. Yeah, that I loved to be honest with you. So mm. I was like, I was in a bit of a dark place, a bit of a sad place, and I was just like, I had to get away. I went over there, and then, yeah, it was, no, it's an amazing place, but um. Yeah, I'd like to do it again. I'd like to do it again because I don't think I've got the full benefits out of spending my time over there. But it was it was it was a good time. Mm. Like beaches, like the weather's obviously amazing, and yeah, like I said, the grass scene's amazing, and the music scene's getting better over there as well. Yeah, I hope so. They chase, yeah, it is because they're, <laughs> they're chasing after. They, they, they're, they're just like us, but a bit behind. That's what it is. They're just like yeah. That was always my beef. It was like I remember like having to do gigs, and then you'd have a whole week of not doing anything. Big up all my Australian crew. Yeah. It just wasn't my. I just was never settled because being in London, something was always going on. Yeah, and it'd just be like the newest shit. But with there, it's like. They they had isolated moments in the week, like yeah. Friday and Saturday was the party day. Oh, was you over there as well? Yeah, I uh, just to do gigs. Oh, gigs, gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'd go, I'd be working on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Then the whole week, nothing going on. Do you know what I mean? So it's like really, I was just chewing at the bit for the next gigs. Yeah, of course. Quite, yeah, but you're saying it's a lot different. It's not. No, it is no. That is what it is. It, it was. They, they like their house over there. I'm not really. I'm not. Listen, I, I'm not knocking it. It's, it's, it's if you like that sound, you like that sound. It's a bit too slow for me. But mm. people, it's, it's got that sort of sort of modern music sound to it, do you mm. know what I mean? It hasn't got really anything rustic and yeah. anything like... The, the, the drum bass scene's big in like certain places, getting mm. bigger. It's a lot more underground, which I do like about... Dubstep's some of big over there as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. They had a club called Chinese Laundry in um, in Sydney on the pier and it was like... It's it was like fabric, like in a sound system in there. I remember seeing Alex Perez. I played there. I know the there. one. I played Sick there, sound yeah. system, low ceilings now. Yeah. It's like got stage in that, isn't it? Old school, yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw yeah. the hype, hype done a True Players Night over there as well. Yeah. Alex yeah. Perez seen there, uh, Andy C, I see over there. And it was yeah, it was like when it when it was pumping, it was pumping. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like you said, you had to look for it. Yeah. You had to be like, like keep your eyes open to yeah. find when these raids were on because it wasn't really promoted over there. These yeah, sounds, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Melbourne was really good for uh, for graph. I remember like oh yeah, yeah, everywhere. They're designated spots. No, this was everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, they got the streets. Yeah, they got like and they, and yeah, on the, and the tracks as well. And yeah. Sydney's got a good like track. But again, I wasn't really paying attention to it. I remember. <laughs> I remember I was going to work one day and I was walking through, I came back from work, I had a few beers with a work lot and I was going back towards the train station there's like an alleyway where they're all painting and I picked up a tin and tried to paint. I was off my night, I had a few few beers at this stage and I just couldn't, I couldn't even spray properly. I was spraying my back and because they were like, oh, you're from London, oh, because they look up to, yeah, 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 yeah. to us for like graphing and that. So I was like, oh, sweet. And I tried to paint and they were just like a bit like, who's really? this, who's this geezer? Like, Does it lose you? Do you lose graph if you, if you yeah, don't paint Yeah, I, I did massively. I didn't paint for like 20 years. I don't know, 18 years. I literally did not pick up a spray can for 18 years. I didn't, so 18 years? Nothing. It's not like riding a bike. You've got a. No, I wouldn't, like, I didn't. Back then, when I was painting, I'd never done, I'd never bought paint. Like, the only paint I would buy is to go and get the Molotovs chromes from Four Star and Camden. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah, he said you know what I mean? Come on, man. No, he's going there all the time. Like, but he, I fell out of him because he's just always moody. I don't know what's wrong with him. He sound at first, and then all of a sudden, I think too many people are taking too many stuff, for, too much stuff from a shop. Yeah. So when I'd go in there, he'd be like, oh, no, nah, get out and all this. I was like, I just want to yeah. get some paint, mate. That's a legendary I mean? spot for those was, outside the UK. That was, was the spot. No, it was. It was great spot. And it was the only place you get molotovs That's from. Right. I remember someone showed me them. I was like, wow, yeah, man, yeah. these things are different gravy to what you're getting from yeah. Halfords. And... But pinks that oh. weren't too runny and too funny. Oh, mate, they were amazing, man. And we were like, like I said, all I was used to was like stealing paint and going out on like what felt like another country. Like we'd like spend the day going out to Hemel Hempstead. Mm -hmm. And back then it was like literally going like getting your passport and going like on holiday or it's something. Like seven it, yeah, going, this is only North West London. Now it's like yeah. 10 minute drive or something. Yeah, yeah, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then it was like, like you had to go and like get a train and all this, and it was just the days out of raising paint and like, and then you're using them sorts of things. It's just chromes and outlines, never really pieced back then. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was just all we was doing. I was just doing it just to be for the life. Like mm -hmm. I said, I didn't live for graph. I lived for the excitement. And then when I was meeting people like T's and Got to and RIP Got to, he's a good friend yeah, of mine. He's yeah, like, he's, these people were showing me like. This is what it's about. It was just fun. That's all we was having was just out and out fun. It wasn't about being all city for me because like I'm, I'm big up anyone that does do all that. It's, it's amazing. Like, but I just wasn't. I was just happy and stimulated in my own brain, just getting up where I was from. Do you know what mm. I mean? That's what I wanted to do, and then I wanted to go raving. That was it. Do a bit of painting and go raving. Like, so then fast forward twenty years when I hadn't painted for so long, people telling me, "Oh, go and buy this, buy this paint, buy this paint." 
you go and buy it and it's just like, wow, just the hand control, just using a can was so different to using it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's a professional paint, do you know what I mean? So it's, it was hard at first, but then you pick up tips from people and it's mm. just, it's got easier, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get the impression that technically it's a, it's clearly more advanced. Like yeah, stepping. Massively. I mean, but as you don't know, I do have a, I do have a tipple in, in the odd Hall of Fame just to kind of get an under, a greater understanding. But I feel like I've uh, I bypassed some of the more um, uh, informative years of of having to mix caps from other things and cans that were weren't pumping out the right paint and having to mix your colours and all that funny f- fun trickery that to to now would just be like well we've got a can for that <laughs> yeah it's so it's like you said that I was in the shop I was in the Chrome and Black and he's going to me. Um, He's going, no, what, what caps do you want? I, I still don't know my caps. I don't know them. I'll just use, when I was getting loops, I'll just use the loop, the cap. That's uh, the it. orange one? Yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. I'm like, I literally don't know. They're like, oh, do you know nothing yeah, about yeah. paint? I'm like, I, I, I genuinely don't know and I don't really care. Yeah, I'm, just, yeah, like, yeah. Like that. I'm just like, just give me my paint and feel yeah, this because yeah. I, I, um, there's so much like different styles to it now and, and and I would like to know it to be honest with you because mm. you can learn, especially I do a lot of characters and that and I've found using certain paints, certain colours, certain pressures, it does all help, whereas before I was like, it's all the same to me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. and I'm, I might like to, you know, de- deviate slightly, but um, yeah, segue in. I know you more predominantly in the in the arena of Hall of Fame, blockbuster, big piece in mm. the characters, the stuff. Like I remember, and it was a photo I just put up. I was like, what the fuck is that? And I, I found you where I f- didn't think I would have mm. found. Got to be the same dude. It's got to be the same guy I know from like the late 90s. Do you know what I mean? Oh, of course you did. I can't yeah, remember yeah, which yeah, picture yeah. it was. Because I was just like, yo, this is fucking sick. And it just, it was almost like rebrand. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just had this moment of like, yeah, this is fucking. Oh, dear. Yeah, I think it's inside the house. Do you no, know what I mean? No, it's just the word you used there. It's funny. Um, we go, um, but yeah, no, Joe, you know what? It was, it, that's the, the Alice in Wonderland one I done. Yeah. And Joe, you know what's mad about it? That was, my, that was like my birthday when we was down there. And then uh, I was with Ashy, Emmett, big up Ashy, Emmett. Pros, they're like all good yeah, friends, like, like, smashing it. Smashing in there as well, big up. Yeah, yeah what t- man, style look, Don, man. Oh, mate, Ooh. listen, Emmett makes fucking graph look like digital. I know. He makes it look digital on the wall. And I've a- talked to him about and Ailes yeah. as well. Ailes, my co D, man, big him up as well. Hold tight, hold tight. Yeah. yeah, hold tight, Ailes as well. Is, man, look, you guys, that's how. And the second yeah. time I met, met you guys properly, well, no, I saw your pieces again. I, I met some of you, but you went there. Yeah. Uh, it was another jam. Uh, yeah, it was just to have all three of you. Yeah, all together, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. Cause that's how I stock stories. Cause like our like, Ailes goes a long way back. We're from. Well, I've known him for like twenty odd years, but he went back with my cousin. My cousin used to write Trek back in the day, like, and they were good friends. And it's mad. We were good friends for years, but didn't graph. Mm-hmm. And like I said, it came into lockdown. I said to him one day, I want to get back into it. I was bored. I was going. I was going mad in the head. I was like, I've, I've mm-hmm. got like my own issues in my own head that I need to mm-hmm. deal with. And mm-hmm. when it came to lockdown, there's certain things I couldn't go out and do, and I was just felt mm-hmm. restricted. And it was just. Graph, so like, say, I know you, you, it's like a you see it all the time on on your podcast. People saying graph saved me. It literally did in lockdown. It just gave me something to go and do, and then it gripped me mm-hmm. again. Yeah, yeah. I never thought something like twenty years later. It yeah. literally is just gripped me. I'm fucking says, glad it did. Oh, the characters mate. that you pull off. Are Thank you. Fucking. That one you told me about though. To be fair, it was raining, so I started adding the drips, and I just I'd been on acid the night before, so I was still tripping out. So I started like right, grappling along yeah, with it. No, it's cold. I'm a fan, <laughs> and yeah, it, I think it saved a lot of people, yeah. people's lives. And I think when you're younger and going through the things that you're going through, it, you you don't see it at the time. You mm. don't think to yourself, "Oh, thank." Well, you do think, "Thank God for whatever creative outlet you have," because everyone needs that. But you don't think how uh, as you move on and you get older, you realize. The moment you shed that thing, yeah, yeah, how exposed actually you are, oh, of course, and then coming back to it afterwards, you love it even more. Oh, mate, it's just like, and it's just like you said, the jams now. Like a lot of people like not like legal graphing and that, but it's I, I've, some of the best days I've had in my life have been in the last twelve months. But meeting, I met like people like yourself, like yeah. the loads of people that I knew from years when I was younger that were legends to me. Mm. People say, "Don't meet your your heroes." Oh, you're doing what great. Amazing, like, yeah. All the heroes that I've met have been absolute yeah. diamonds. Like, like seriously, yeah, like me I've, too. I've only ever had great experiences. Exactly. I haven't man. had any problems since then. I know a lot of people do have problems, but I think sometimes you go looking for them, you're gonna find them. If yeah. you don't, I have a lot of laughs, yeah. man. Oh man, some like we've had some like, great times down yeah. there, but Dude. everywhere, like, do you like, remember actually? Let's say, wait. CRS uh, and uh, CRS uh, NFTs oh, the and crypto. Oh, come that on. Boat oh, party. come Do on, you know? man. <laughs> I was saying that the other day, something like, I put it on my thing for the highlight of last year. It's like, 
we, we, we obviously I've known, I've known Luck for a long time and that, and then he's like, like, luck, yeah, yeah. Like, luck is a good, like, good guy, and luck he's and like, I want to paint the boat for, and they are oh, amazing, yeah. both amazing people. And I've grown up with it. I know, I've known them from around my way for a long time, and they were like, oh, I just can't paint the boat for us, like, we'll get it like popping. And wow, what a day! I didn't, yeah, I didn't yeah. expect it to go off the way it did. <laughs> we got shut down, that's how big it was. It was in the middle of lockdown. Camden, people, Camden Cam- lock on it. Camden Town. So we rode the boat from uh, the Westway and we'd, we painted the boat in the Westway the night before. Me, Adam and Ashi, again, mm. big up Adam and Ashi. And we just had, wow, just got on the boat and we, he was like, Luck was doing his thing, Neat was doing his thing and we got all the way down to Camden Lock and there must have been about, there was thousands of people there. You saw it yourself. Yeah, yeah, it big up Matt and mental. CRS crew, all them guys yeah, that man. put that thing together. It was amazing. And it was just one of the highlights, things like this happened and it was just to see how many people, like, please shut it down, but that added to the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was just amazing. Everyone was having a laugh. The, the noise got made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the, the signs got seen. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the NFT drop, it was just an amazing yeah. riot. It certainly wasn't a case of when a tree drops, does anyone hear it? There, yeah. there was a noise. Oh, Summer, and I remember like, Everyone was double ticked because we was walking up. Me and my girlfriend we was walking up the, the canal, waiting for the boat. To sh- but it was almost like there was like behind us. We were hearing things like, "Is that is that DJ Luck?" You can hear it from the main street, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Said it's to it's me. Yeah. bumping. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's echoing underneath the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was mental. Man. I love that time when he fell into the water. Like, yeah. it was just, everyone was just jumping around. It was cr- people trying to jump on the boat. Yeah, like, yeah. I got videos of that. Yeah, yeah, someone yeah. jumped on the boat and fell off and went straight into the water. Yeah, didn't yeah. They? I've got videos <laughs> of girls that are on their stilettos on yeah. top of the on top of the roof of the yeah, boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was wobbling. Quality. It was brilliant, man. And the old yeah. Bill tried to get on there. It was like, jump on the boat. They were trying, 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 trying to shut it down for ages. and it just yeah. didn't. But like I said, it sort of added to it. Yeah, like yeah. the whole like, underground scene. Squat just, mentality. It was, man. And it, it brought a lot of like, just to see how many smiles on people's faces. Mm. I, was still, I was still with people. I was still with uh, Reach, Ashy, Lazy, Big up like Reach yeah, and Lazy yeah, as well. Yeah, oh, lazy. Was with all of them like yeah. like in the park till four o'clock in the morning, and then we came back down yeah, to the I canal. Because I saw you guys after the fact, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? You guys oh yeah, up. that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was uh, having a hump because um at the time I was having a hump because uh, I had recently stopped drinking alcohol <laughs> and I just did not know what to do with my emotions. <laughs> it was all off my head. Like, yeah, you were all off your head. <laughs> the party had just been stopped, and I'm there sober as a judge, and my missus wants to go and get a cocktail. I'm like, fuck my life right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was quality, man. Like, so we, we came back down to the canal at four in the morning. I stayed until. That, till sunrise, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was there till sunrise, and it, right where the party had been shut down like 12 hours beforehand. It was just, yeah, yeah. there were still people with candles out sitting on side, just having a good time. Yeah, 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 people yeah, yeah. needed something, yeah, yeah. And that was from through graph, like, like that was literally graph and music, like what we've been talking the about the whole hour, like two things coming yeah. together. Forget all your problems in the world because there's a one big, whatever you think's going on, there's always someone like suffering, there's always something mm. bigger going on. So we come together and make something happen. That's what we've done that day, and it was an amazing feeling for yeah, everyone, man, yeah. You know I mean? And it doesn't cost a lot. No, it costs, no it vibes mean, really, yeah, innit? man. Just smile on your face. Smile. Yeah. You smile at people, they will smile back at you. Do you know what I mean? And that's like it was a good day. It was yeah. a really good day. Yeah, and like I said at the beginning, you are you're most definitely the face and advocate of the scene. I feel like that that mentality, that attitude, regardless of what you know, your inner turmoils or the things you feel or the things you go through, there's always a good spirit with you whenever you're oh, in the mix. Gotta be, bro. man. I've been through so much shit in my life personally, and it's not going into it, but it's like. I just felt like you, when you're expressing yourself mm-hmm. through, through music or through gra- through graph, whatever it is. Like, mm-hmm. I love all art. I don't just love graph. I love art in general, man. Mm-hmm. I love people knocking. I love look, good luck to anyone, whatever they're doing, because people they're mm-hmm. doing it for themselves. Mm-hmm. They're doing it for their own mental health. You don't know what people are going through. Yeah, so yeah. Just let them get on with it, man. Like don't yeah. knock them. Like unless I don't leave that to the youngsters. The youngsters be we used to have it when we were younger, and that's mm-hmm. just youngsters being youngsters. Fair yeah. play. But if you're in your thirties and your forties and you're still moaning and arguing about something that someone else is doing, then yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're not, you're not doing something right in your own life. Yeah, That's yeah, how yeah. I see it. And I think that I'm everyone gets along. It's going to be sweet, do you know what I mean? And like, like you said, it's just, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a good year and it's, yeah. it's, it's humbling that you have me on this. And it's, just, it's nice that the amount of people that I've met back, like from back in the day, it's just everyone's just like, they're, they're doing their thing. And they're yeah. make, whether they're making money out of it or whether they're doing whatever, good luck to them, man. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's the, way That's the way to be, man. I think 100%. it's all too easy to get disgruntled or have the hump about something yeah. just because someone's utilising a creative outlet or because... Because really, the, the, the mentality with Graph is put in the work and you will get what you, oh, the fame you course, deserve. Of course, man, yeah, of course. It's the same with everything. Yeah, Just put in man. the work. Put it in, man. Don't the more, worry about you, the more energy you put into the negative yeah, shit, yeah, then yeah. you're not going to get nothing exactly. done. Exactly. I thought, don't get me wrong, I still like, like... There's been a few things this year where there's been like beefs and... And that's graph. That's like, always going to be there. Yeah, it's like it's anything. Like, it's yeah. like with hip hop. It's like with drama. Any, anything. Yeah. There's always going to be something. That, but that's healthy. That's healthy yeah, yeah, for the yeah. scene. Like, that's got, progress. That yeah, moves course, things along. Man, yeah. that's, got,
back in the day when we grew up, if you had a problem with someone, mm. you went to that party or the park they're playing football in, or, yeah. and you squashed it, you and you went to sort it out. You either whatever happened, if you had a scrap of them, or you sort it out, whatever whatever way it went, it was sorted out. But all this indirect, it just makes people even angrier. Like, yeah. mate, it, do you know what I mean? It's just it's just like nah, it's not it's not healthy for yourself, let yeah. alone like the scene. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So just. Let, let let your graft do the talking. That's right. Do you know what I mean? And then <laughs> when people, like I told you earlier before we talked about this, people say, oh, he just does this, he just does that. Don't put me in a box, man, because mm. I proved that recently. Mm. You can't put me in any box, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. it's like, I'll do what I do. And so, so does everyone else, and good luck to you. Tell us something that, yeah. tell us something before we sign off, because I'm very intrigued, because yeah. you are extremely open-minded. Tell us something that people don't know about you that you like doing. Tell us something like whether it's a hobby, <laughs> hobby habit. You know, you could be um, into tennis or cooking. What's yeah. the thing that you do that people would be like, does that? Yeah. Do you know good? what? Do you know what I was doing? It's no word of light. Um, I'm going to get back into it because I've been started speaking to um, an old friend recently and she's got her own classes doing it and she wants me to go and start practicing it again. And it was yoga. I was doing nice. hot yoga because I, I had a bad back at work. I started doing hot yoga, but do you know what? And then because of lockdown, that will stop. And I was doing it for a good while. Like, I got quite good, quite good, to be fair. Mad. I've seen Goldie doing it. Yeah. Yoga Gangster. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And he's a don. You see some of the moves he's doing, mate. And he's nuts as well. Like, he's like me. And yeah. I see a lot of myself. When you see someone him, older doing oh, it and they look so nimble. I look up to him, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and uh, uh, a lot of what he... he like, he's open about his things that have gone on in his life. And like, I, can, I can like resonate with that. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. when I'm seeing him... I'm like, right, like yoga. And then when I started doing it, wow, it changed like, really? it changed everything. Like, I'm not just talking about physically, I'm talking about mentally. So if anyone's got mental problems out there, anything that's going on with anything, addictions or whatever, yeah. try yoga out, because I promise you, man, it's, there's like this thing about men doing it and it's mm. like a girl's thing. Nah, nah. it's, wow. Like, and really? I, I'm going to get back into it because like, I, I'm, I'm, life's going well as it is at the moment, but I just wanted something else. And yeah, I'll be getting back into yoga again because it's amazing, man, honestly. That's fucking like amazing. Great. There you go. Yeah, yoga. yoga. Tick us a yoga. Yogi. There you go. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure, my brother. Thank no, you thank so you. Much, I'm humble, brother. You had me on there, honestly. <laughs> Proper yeah. vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what a good energy, man. Proper thank energy. You, I yeah. knew it was going to be like this anyway. Yeah, yeah. You know natural, what I mean? bruv. Natural. Because we've yeah. just been bantering the whole yeah, fucking yeah. time in the cost of summer anyway. I forgot we was even on camera, man. I would have been <laughs> yeah, chatting yeah. shit to you, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. That's how I like to roll on it. Yeah, standard. We'll carry on. We'll go booze and have a couple more. Yeah, yeah, go. Tick us, man. Lovely. Thank you. Big up, my brother. Big up. Can you I just say a shout out? Sorry, do to it. Everyone, shout away. Everyone that I bumped heads with back in the day or recently, and I, like, I miss all of you. Got to Kano, Joke, Ems, Riser, Smiley. Oh, yeah. Miss all of you. RIP to every yeah, single one of them. RIP, yes, that's right. That's right. Well, you heard it here first. Uh, tickets told you, okay? Big shout out to everybody that checks in. You know, it is. We're here. This is it. This is the beacon. The beacon of knowledge and understanding. The community spirits. So it's all here, man. Good vibes. Killer Killer Podcast. Sharing is caring. You know what it is. Out like it was out of fashion. Stay lucky, people. Peace.